house. Not me, JJ. Us. I want it to be the Spring City Rocket's first ever clubhouse. <laughs> Not quite what we had planned. Our first clubhouse. Really, Safi? Yeah. Wendy's my hero and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? <laughs> hero, eh? How can I say no to that? And we can hold our first club meeting today, at tea time. You want the treehouse finished today? By tea time? Yes, please. That's OK, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. I am a hero after all. Brilliant! Thank you. It'll be the best clubhouse ever. OK, team. We're building one fancy treehouse and we've got one day to do it. We're going to need a new schedule. Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Well, hero Wendy, it's your job. I think you'd better say it. Really, Bob? OK, then. <clears throat> can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Sorry, but I can't be disturbed. I need to get these support beams cut to size. What are you doing now? Same thing as just now. Scoop, if you're bored, why don't you tidy up the new delivery of rocks? Oh, sorry, Bob. Did I disturb you? Floor painted, check. Paint drying, check. Right, I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Lofty, according to my schedule, it's time to hang that rope ladder. Err. Uh, Wendy? Yes? You know that floor panel you just painted? Yes. Um. Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy, what's wrong? Is everything okay with the treehouse? Yes, everything's fine. I just need to check the paint. Phew! Because I really want to amaze the others. Lofty, change to the schedule. I'm now repainting the floor. Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy? And quickly, I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? Oh. Don't worry, Bob. We've got to tidy it in no time. Hi, Wendy. Just checking in. I've got the rope ladder in place, the viewing deck ready, and I'm just about to fix the windows. What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. Don't worry, I'll make the flag. After I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. We don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the Spring City Rockets' favourite things. They're going to be so impressed. Careful of the sticky stuff, Safi. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can 
and the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything okay? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Safi. You go. I'll be along in a minute. Oh, I see. It's very, very sticky. OK, everything's in place. Dizzy's arrived with the cement. We just need Bob to bring the flag. Wendy! I just had the best idea. We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Safi, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place. Making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. OK? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are tidy. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? That. That's what's going to happen. Ah. Uh, can you help me clear them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to tidy them later. Come on, let's go. Well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. All done, Wendy. Poor to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing! How's it going, Hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall and then reseal the window. <laughs> Some hero I am. Help! What was that? Oh, no! Safi! Why were you up there, Safi? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! Oh, what have I done? Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous! Oh, I can't reach it! Too far down. Oh. I'll lower you. Ugh. Bob, get me out of here. Ugh. Ease the line, Bob, quick. Let him go. My hero! What happened? I'm so sorry. I didn't wait for things to set properly. Now we don't have a clubhouse. We've still got time to fix it. Right, Wendy? Team, there's a new schedule and I need all wheels on deck. Now! Well, you're better at tidying tree houses than you are at tidying rocks, Scoop. <laughs> yes, they're easier to balance. Right, Safi. Yep, the cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Whoa! That's really amazing! So, what do you think? I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy. Of course. I am a hero after all.
morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Suffy. Who's this? He's Rex, and he's my dog. Hello, Rex. <laughs> Excuse me, Suffy. Must attend to my cat. Don't worry, Pilchard. It's only a checkup. Oh, Bob and Pilchard. Take a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. New dog, Tilly. The Cooper here. No, I'm just looking after him. Yes, I am. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, ahem. Excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Well, I can fit you in later today. Sorry, it's rather noisy here. Can you speak up? Good doggy. Heel. Stop! Rex! Oh! Oh! Oh, goodness! Are you all right, Safi? Yes, fine, thank you. What happened? Just a guess, but I think Cooper likes to chase cats. Here, Cooper. Good dog. Sit. 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 Oh, oh. Bob, what am I going to do? That was Mayor Madison on the phone. She's bringing her cat in to be groomed for a special photo. Oh, what if Cooper chases the mayor's cat? Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. Then you'd never have a problem. Could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, right. I'll do that then. <gasps> Stay. He's a good boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Once Cooper settles down. The mayor and her cat are arriving this evening. We have to get this job done today. That is not a lot of time. Oh, and can you keep an eye on Cooper? He can't come on my rounds. I've got a lot of cats to see today. <laughs> right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. One room for the cats to wait in. And one room for the dogs. It's a simple enough job. So, let's get to work. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Just watch. Uh, Leo, you can't take them together. Remember, they need to be kept separate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I'll take one at a time. In the meantime, we can do all the jobs that aren't so scary for the animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo would better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. Pilchard! Come to me. Oh, please! Bob's waiting to start work. <coughs> oh! Come on, Leo. You can do it. Gotcha! 
now to take care of Koopa. No one should touch the new plasterboard walls. The paint's still wet. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig out the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! <laughs> Pilchard! <laughs> <laughs> Quite a plan. We can't wait any longer. Muck, Lofty, you're going to have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper, look out! with animals. Really? Hadn't noticed. Can someone please separate this cart and dog? Oh, you have a path to lay. Hey, don't dogs like to play ball? Maybe you are good with animals after all. I knew it! OK. We haven't got much time until the mayor and her cat arrive. Let's get this job finished. Yes, yes Bob! Bob. Tibbles here to see the vet. Her fur needs a good fluffing and puffing out. Oh, yes. Through the cat door, please, Mayor Madison. Who's my pretty little darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. I say, Bob, would you mind taking our photograph? It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. And smile. Her. No! Not Lady Tibbles! <laughs> 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 
Curtis, I can't believe it. How old? Yeah, Dad. You're not getting any younger. Mm, thanks, Leo. Come on, we'd better go. I'm starving. A slap up lunch at Chef Tatty's, eh? Now that's a proper birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll have to look after my garage. Are you sure you understand how this place works? No problem, Curtis. Relax. I am relaxed, kind of. Just remember my motto. At Curtis's Garage, we, we put, put the, the service, service into, into service, service station. station. Nice one, Bob. Well, when you're told something ten times, it tends to sink in. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Happy birthday, Curtis. OK, team, this is the secret plan. While Leo is keeping Curtis busy, we're going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, well, is it a pile of gravel? I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck, it's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, Lofty mate, is your brakes are all gone. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else, it's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant in the whole of Spring City, so just relax and enjoy it. I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, a beautiful piece of kit. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally mend a car, no problem, with the help of one of these. What's Scoop on about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Hello. Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What can I cook for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Tatty? The quickest? Oh, <laughs> oh, well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. Oh. And how about the burger and chips? Uh, is that... Um... Chips and a burger, yes. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No, I'm a bit peckish. OK, Mr Bentley, I think all the tyres are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little more in this one. Uh, what do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. OK, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more. No, I think that's too much. 
Bob, you've got a bit of a queue building up. Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get on with putting up the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> Uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're going to have to stall your dad for a while longer. Uh, loving. So, gentlemen, would you like a dessert? No, thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, the boy must have hollow legs. <laughs> There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. It looks OK to me, Mr Bentley. Oh, maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Uh, let's check it against the other indicator. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, I I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see. Sounds like your big end. I beg your pardon? Yeah, you need to get that looked at sharpish. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's far too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. In fact, follow me. Coming through, coming through. Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just hop on there, Bets. Scoop, what are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess about with the lift before Bob checks it's working OK. Here we go. Up, up, up. That should do it. Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy! Are you OK? I'm fine, Bob. Bit of a scratch to my paintwork, but it looks like your new garage roof came off worse. Oh, I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I can sort out the damage to the roof and respray Betsy too. You know, the view from up here is amazing. I can see all the way to Spring City. Oh, there's Curtis and Leo coming down the road. <laughs> We've not finished the workshop yet, Bob. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? I've ruined Curtis's birthday surprise too. If anyone needs mechanical attention, it's me. That's it. Well done, Scoop. You've just given me an idea. Hi, Bob. We're on our way back. I couldn't eat any more. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I've sent Scoop down to meet you. He might need some, uh... Mechanical attention. Okay, Bob. I get it. Bye. Ooh, not so fast, please, Alfred. Nonsense, Alfred. Quick as you like. Two of us. Well, Scoop, what's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. Well, I can't hear anything. Yeah, you've, you've got to listen carefully, really carefully, really, really carefully. <coughs> rattle? No, oh, uh, I heard that. Yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. Right. That's the lift, the roof, and the sign sorted. I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Not quite. I've got one more surprise up my sleeve. Well, you'd better hurry because here they come. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Curtis! Whoa! My workshop! 
I don't know what to say. It was all Leo's idea. And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone. And Leo, how can I ever thank you for such a wonderful surprise? Well, by the look of him, don't offer him any cake. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming on well. Not too much left to do. We should be finished by the end of the week. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Looks like you don't have to. So fast. They'll be even faster on the ice. Ooh, playing ice hockey looks so much fun. <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. <laughs> Neither JJ Bradden, Safi. Oh, save the game for later. Remember why you're here. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, Betsy. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um. Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spellertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh, if... We could play here instead? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. Oh, oh please! 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 What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could. Kay. Bob said they could. Uh, Yay! I... They Yay! Could. Yay! Yay! Thank, Thank you, Bob. Bob's the best. That's enough Bob loving for one day. Come on, jump in, Rockets. I'll bring you back later for a final practice. Hmm? Uh, what just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished for tonight. I did. Then in that case, we will! Yay! Right. Wendy and I will go to the yard to pick up the clear plastic panels that will surround the rink. While you lot get cracking. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Cold as a polar bear's nose. Where do we get the ice from, Leo? We make it ourselves. From water. That's right, Lofty. When the water touches the pipes, it gets colder. And when it's really cold, it turns to ice. You mean ice is just solid water? Exactly. Gently does it. Nearly there. Nearly there. That's it, Tutong. Perfect. Right. That's everything. Yep. We best get back to see how the rest of the team's getting on. Hmm. It must be ready by now. Wow. Things really do go faster on ice. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. I'm playing ice hockey! The water on the ice rink should have frozen by now. Fancy a quick skate before the Spring City Rockets arrive, Bob? Hmm, maybe. I used to love skating when I was a kid. Take it from me, Bob. Ice is no fun at all if you're a machine. Had some bad experiences, have you, Teuton? Bad? I'll say. 
The Frozen North was the worst, Wendy. The roads in the Frozen North were simply treacherous. Ice everywhere, trucks and lorries sliding all over the place. Two times I said to myself, you're gonna have to go very, very slowly up here in the Frozen North. Two ton? Yes, Wendy? There's no ice on the roads in Spring City, so we don't have to go slowly here, do we? No, no, of course not. No ice on the road here. You're quite right. <laughs> it takes me back, though, thinking about it. And it's a good thing I did go so slowly in the frozen hole. Because one day... <laughs> there are too many bricks here for me to carry in one go, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um... Where is Muck? I haven't seen him in ages. Muck, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop, catch this! Scoop, no! Oh, got it! <laughs> now get this one! Oh, I want a go. Oh, Lofty, not you too! Slow down, Lofty! Oi! Oh, no! And so that, you see, is how I managed to survive the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started tidying up. They must be nearly finished. Out of the way! Go, go, go! Doesn't sound good. Mm. Watch out! Get the coming through! Oh dear. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I can't, Bob! Neither can I! <sighs> oh. What are we going to do? I think the first thing will be to get this lot off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Shall I start my engine? No! Uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? Here it goes. I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. I, I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. That's OK, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? The barriers are broken and we still have to get all the clear plastic panels up. It'll take ages carrying everything all the way round the rink. There is one way we could do it faster. How, Mark? You know how things move faster on ice? Well... Shut in! was a really good idea, Muck. Not bad for you. Thanks. And just in time. You did it. We've got time to practice before the game. It's so cool. You're welcome. They're really good, aren't they? 
we've got great seats for when the game starts later. <laughs> you did a good job fixing those panels, Leo. <laughs> yeah, I did. Now, I would never have passed like that. Me neither. That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. Right, team. Today, we are going to be finishing the lift for the skyscraper. Brilliant! Rope Yay! Um, what's the lift, Bob? Well, Mug, when you've got a building as tall as this, it's far too high to get up and down using the stairs. So, we build a little carriage called a lift that you get into, press a button, and it will take you all the way to the top, where you can see the whole of Spring City. Of Spring City? I want to see the whole of Spring City. Can I go up in the lift? Please, 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 please! Sorry, Scoop. I think you're just a little bit too big to go up in a lift. Yes. Your back end would hang out. Oh. Tiny, can we have the loading cage, please? Coming right down, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. Now we'll head up to the top and get started. Can you lot load those materials into the cage for us, please? No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Sorry I'm late. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Mayor, Mayor Madison. Madison. Hello, 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 Mr. Mr. Bentley. Mr. Bentley. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, uh, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. That will do. Now, Bob, I'd like to go up to the top floor, please. There may be a bit of a problem with that. In as much as we haven't put the lift in yet. But I have to get my photo taken at the top for the cover of tomorrow's Spring City Chronicle. A man surveys her city. We're just about to start putting the lift in now. Maybe you could come back later? Oh, there is the service lift. No, I don't think so. We'll come back later. Mr Bentley? Oh, well, uh, um, we could come back at four. Four? Four it is, then. That means I'll have plenty of time to get my hair done. A mayor always has to look her best. Well, if the mayor wants to get to the top at four, we'd better get moving. OK, little guys, load me up. Oh, I wish I could see the view from the top. The whole of Spring City. You're OK, Goal. You can go to the top of the skyscraper any time you like. All packed and ready to go, Tiny. Time for some tower power! Wait a minute. Maybe I can get to the top of the skyscraper. And I won't need a lift. Let's get this lift motor up and running. Leo and I will bolt it into place, and Wendy, you can wire it in. OK, okay Bob. Bob. Can you send the loading cage down again, please? We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. One extra heavy load coming up. What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see the whole of Spring City. Um, I oh, really don't think that's a good idea. Don't you worry about me, Lofty. I'll keep my wheels inside the car at all times. 
Extra heavy load for the top floor, Tiny! Time for some more tower power! Can you see the whole of Spring City, School? Yes, all of it, Mark. Ooh, what does it look like? A long way down. I do think he likes it as much as he thought he would. Right. Now we've just got to install the lift car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa! Whoa! Stay in the middle, Scoop! He will help you, Bob! Whoa! Tiny, you need to lower the cage. Scoop's on board. OK, Bob. Going down. Where did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh, no! I'm balancing! But I'm not good at balancing! What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. OK, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. Okay, Tiny. Take me up. Nearly there. Take it in steady. Slow down. And stop. Perfect. Scoop. Bob. I need you to roll carefully towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. Now Mayor Madison will come back and the lift won't be ready. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. OK. Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam. No, Bob. That's dangerous. Stay where you are. I'm coming. OK, then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Are we nearly down yet, Bob? Nearly, Scoop. Nearly. Sorry, everyone. I just really wanted to go up in a lift and see the whole of Spring City. I said it was a bad idea. Well, at least you're OK. But it was a really silly thing to do. OK, OK, that's enough, you two. Right, if we all work together, we might still get the job done in time. Madison. My hair is done and I'm ready for my photo at the top of the skyscraper. You'll have to wear one of these if you're going to the top of the skyscraper. Oh. Right. We just need to call the lift. One for you too, Mr Bentley. Thank you, Leo. Oh. 
going up all the way to the top. Well, at least you got to see the whole of Spring City, Scoop. I did. But I think this digger will be keeping his wheels firmly on the ground from now on. Ready for my close-up, Mr. Bentley. Oh. Uh... No, 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 no. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Get, get off. Get hmm. off. Not Don't sure. Off. She looks quite her best. I've seen her look better. Get off. Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Get some bird seed. So, that's all the building done. Just the car park to lay and a few inside bits to finish off before the grand opening. Wow! Look at that giant milkshake! It's spectacular. It'll be even more spectacular when it's spinning around. Spin it around? But that'll spill all the milkshake. It's not a real milkshake, Muck. It's a model. On you there. And I'm going to be putting in the motor and all the electrics to make it work. Oh, Chip Tutty's milkshake bar will be such a fun place! Oh, you better will! Chef Tetty! Yay! Yay! Hola! Ni hao! Konnichiwa! Good day! What are you doing here, Chef? We're not quite finished. I know, but while you're creating my milkshake bar, I'll be creating the tatty licious chic tastic surprise! The whatty licious what tastic whatty? My milkshake bar special milkshake. Brilliant! What's in it? Oh, I've got no idea. I love experimenting with new ingredients. I just mix them all up and see what comes out. Wow! Right then, team. Let's get started. Muck, you'll be laying the aggregate. Lofty, you'll be shifting materials. And Scoop, you'll be mixing the concrete for the car park with two tons. So... Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. You know Chef Tatty's milkshake bar is going to be a really fun place? Well, I thought we could do something a bit more fun with the concrete. More... fun? You know, experiment with some new ingredients. Mix something up. See what comes out. Oh, no, no, no. You never mess with concrete, Scoop. We'll be making the usual concrete. The, uh, usual concrete? Oh, yes. Flat. Smooth and very, very grey. Oh. Now, I need someone to test out my milkshake creations and tell me which one is truly the most shake-tastic. I'm not sure I could really tell if something was shake-tastic. Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is just savour the frothy, creamy, sweet, fruity, yummy scrumptiousness and say what you think. I'll do it. OK. I'll have a go. We've got ourselves a taste off. Hey, Scoop. How's it going? Not great. I wanted to make fun concrete for Chef Tatty's milkshake bar, but Two Ton just wants to make the usual concrete. A handful of those and a big dollop of that. Let's try a bit of this and one of those. A couple of these boys. Ah, yeah. Mmm! Mmm! I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. Now, let's mix it all up. Wow! There you go. The tatty licious shake-tastic surprise. At version one. Truly shake-tastic. Mmm. Um, it's okay-tastic. Mmm. Only okay-tastic, eh? Well, I need more than okay-tastic from Bob. Let's try and mix up something else. 
There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete-tastic surprise! Uh, are you sure Two-Ton will be OK with that? Two-Ton doesn't have to know. Uh... I'm back and ready to mix, Two-Ton! Now, remember, Scoop. Always measure the ingredients out correctly, or it just won't work. That's two parts cement, two parts aggregate, one part water, and one part sand. All right, Two-Ton, got that. Ah, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. Up and ready to go, Scoop? Oh, yes, two tons, so let's max it all up. So, Wendy, what do you think of version three? Have we found Shake Tastic yet? They were all great. That one was a delightful combination of sweet and savoury. That one was a party in your mouth, and that one was an explosion of foamy delight. Mm. Oh, not bad then. Bob? Mmm. Um, that one was, um, sort of pink. Pink? Hmm. We're off now, everyone. Let's finish everything in the morning. OK, Bob. We'll just finish laying the concrete and meet you back at the yard. Well, that's done. Let's get back. Woo -woo. Come on, Tutan. No, this way. What's the matter? I'm a bit worried about your scoopalicious concrete-tastic whatever you called it. No need to worry, Muck. I guarantee that by the end of the day, everyone will be talking about it. Wow, my concrete looks amazing! It's so colourful and fun and... and squelchy and sticky. Uh-oh. Scoop, this concrete's not dry. Ew. This concrete isn't dry, I know, Lofty. Ew. Oh, no! Why isn't my concrete dry? I, I don't understand it. Come on, Scoop. Back up. Back up. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. I can't believe we left it all night. And it's still not dry. Well, you were right about one thing, Scoop. Everyone's talking about your concrete. Oh, Bob. This is all my fault. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. It wasn't a mistake, Bob. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tati experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun. I wanted to try something fun too. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Bob. I'll go and clear it all off. You know, I'd never have created my legendary purple fizzle crush chunky delight if I hadn't tried mixing red currants, rhubarb, and cheesy biscuits. That sounds, um, interesting. But it has given me an idea. Muck, take me back to the yard. Right, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dustbin. Wow! Yellow, red and blue cement! And crunchy gravel jumps too! And it's quick drying. And I'll mix it all up for you! Do 
looks way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. OK, this is my last try at creating the tatalicious Shake-tastic surprise. That's it. That is truly Shake-tastic. What did you put in it, Chef? Strawberry. Just plain strawberry. Because sometimes the usual is the best. Mm. Maybe it needs a touch.